Hi guys, uh, Captain Obert here, Boeing 747-400 simulator. Here's a snippet for you. We are at 37,000 feet. This is called the MCP, altitude selector. And if you look at the primary flight display, 370 at 37,000 feet. On the map display, you see this little green dot here and it's got T slash D. T slash D means top of descent. That's the point at which we should start descending. And it's about 38 miles away from where the aircraft is. There's the aircraft and there's our descent point. So we look at the FMS, it's showing us that our top of descent, the top of descent is 35 miles now. And it keeps counting down as we go close, as you can see, 34 miles. So about that point, or just shortly before that, if you're on a passenger airplane, the captain will have done his PA. We're about five minutes away from total descent. The weather in Hong Kong is so and so, temperature is so and so. I uh, hope you enjoy the remainder of the flight and so on, and all this business. That's what happens. We're approaching the descent point about five or ten minutes before. Anyway, so it's counting down. We're getting closer to our descent point, and let's see what happens once we get to our descent point. So, we'd have done the briefing already. And over here, would have done the descent checklist. Recall, notes, auto break, would have decided on that. The landing data would have sent the VREF and the briefing would have been completed. And uh, we're ready for descent. Let's see how we're getting on as far as the distance goes to our descent point. Okay, during that time that I've been talking to you, it says 25 miles now. And over here, you can see we're much closer as well. That's about, yeah, 25 miles. That's the 20 mile mark, maybe 23 now. Yeah, doing about 0.844 mark, 37,000 feet. And we're in standard altimeter setting. We can pre-select an altimeter setting for landing, maybe the KNH, let's say it's 1016. So we pre-selected that. And when we get to a lower altitude, a transition level, we can then just push this button that says standard that will switch these two over the 1016 will come up to the top how far are we okay 16 miles to uh, our descent point see what it says now it says reset mcp altitude the reason it's saying reset mcp altitude it says you're two minutes away from descending and you haven't set this to a lower altitude yet because you should be descending at that point so at this point, the captain, if he's the PF or the PM, says request descent. So I'll get onto the uh, radio, say Cathay 528, request descent. ATC would come back, Cathay 528, Roger, clear to descend to flight level 300 initially. So I'll come up here as PM, maybe, and set 300. So that's. What I'm setting there? 300 or flight level 300. So now I've set flight level 300, it's armed if you like. We're coming up to our descent point, we're now nine miles away from our descent point. That's about a minute and a bit, we should start going down. So when we get to our descent point, the aeroplane will automatically then recognize that, you know, it's uh, descent time and it will start reducing the thrust, the throttles, they also come back, the nose will drop, and we'll get, that's the VSI indicator, it will start going down as well. And the altitude, you'll see the altitude start to reduce, heading towards our pre-selected altitude of 30,000 feet, as cleared by air traffic control, where we selected it in there. So how far are we? Three and a half miles. Let's see what happens at top of descent. Two miles, the VNAV path point up, up appears, there you go, it says idle. And look at what the thrust levers are doing, look at them. So the thrust is coming back. And what that does is it lowers the nose. So looking out there, the nose has just dropped, I can see the ground now. And if I look here, the vertical speed is now 2,000 feet per minute rate of descent. And look, we're already passing 36,000 feet, going towards 30,000 feet. 
that's a dynamic arc that tells me where I'm going to get to 30,000 feet. About 20 miles ahead, we should get to 30,000 feet. And that's it. We are now in the descent. And if you're a passenger, you know that the airplane is going down because the front will start indicating that it's heading towards the ground and we're in the descent, ready for an approach and landing. There you have it. Later.